Hashtag vlog 23, we're back out here again. I am Isaac, he's back yeah, for his no. second vlog. Don No, Chef City, we're out here again. Like we said, we don't have set locations that we're going to put down. We'll just literally come out here, have a browse for you, and we're going to keep browsing until we've cracked Sheffield. This is another building we found, we're going to see if we can get in. If we can't, we'll keep moving. We'll see you from here. So you see, when we come to places like this, Oak boards are together on bottom and then oak windows are wide open. So there's gonna be a way in, but it's just finding it way in. We'll keep looking for we'll, we'll look for something easier because we don't like to risk risk us like elf and that, you know what I mean? Don't want to be starting to get cut up. So we'll just keep looking. But there is a potential spot we could get in. Look. Bear grills out here, man. <laughs> Bear grills, man. I think I'm gonna go this way. Where? It's at left. Down here. Shall we go and snoop it? Turn camera off for a second and go snoop it. Round here, but like we don't want to be damaging camera and stuff, we help bushes so we're just gonna take camera off and we'll we'll be back guys. Well I'm just gonna show you down here these loads of fans that have just been left. Literally left to rot. So old, old, old scooters, old cases, look. I'll just quickly show you these before we come back round to the beginning part. You are? An old vinyl flooring down there, like a big rover. Just recording, mate. Oh, I bet you are. So the guy that's just come out and he's just been telling us that we're full of shit. I said obviously we were doing it for university and the guy just come round and started saying full of shit, didn't he? So now he stood there look. In blue telling me to stop filming. Well fuck you, you're on YouTube. <laughs> Silly cunt. Anyway, off to another location. As we do. So now you're getting a picture of one at ramps. Now I know personal experience from when I came here when it were open. This one here, going down here, this used to be for skiing. And then we've just come from around this direction. And the other slope used to be for snowboarders. So oh. like, what do you do on Jamaican bobsleigh team? All sorts. They did a few things and I know that because when I came, I got told to come on this one because I had skis on. And I was told I weren't allowed to go down that slope, I had to get a snowboard. So I stuck to my skis. Off I went down here. And I lost my ski somewhere in the bush down there and I ended up all the way at bottom with one ski. I mean, ski village is writ off for anyone else that wants to know about it. It's overgrown, there's no left. So we're just here to show you literally what is left of it. So take a good look round here. And we'll keep filming a bit more so you get a better picture. Go up and down it and see what's what. It's obviously over that baseline UK thing um, went long until we were like I think we're about 3k, 3K subs off for it in you know, the adverts and that so Yeah mm, that's what it's like So I'm just going to show you another part of the slope Obviously we were on the other side of that, now we're down here 
another part is totally overgrown. But we're gonna keep moving. Now we're just coming down one of the old paths, round back of it. Oh, but the good crooks and creeks full of rocks. We're still on this path and then we're still on these journeys. So basically, a bit of information for people. If you want to go to Stanley Tools, right, there's an old guy walking about in a blue top with a boldish skinhead. Looks like in his 50s, 60s. And he starts telling you that you're full of shit. And he starts telling you that you have to start recording. And all sorts. So, if you're planning on going there and you're watching this from another city, don't even waste your journey because it's just going to ring coppers on your own security or something. So, be a last journey for you if you're going to do that for it. That's information for other people that are coming from other cities. Bam. So now this is car park to Ski Village. As we're coming down towards it. This is where obviously all gates would have been connected there. Keep walking round it anyway, have a look. Nebun and Oza. Yeah, last time I came through here, I was driving through with one of my mates. And from what I can remember, all this road, like all this down here, was full of caravans, you know, with gypsies and stuff. So is this why you think they've barricaded it here then, yeah, with yeah. big stones and mud? Yeah. To stop gypsies from coming back with caravans? Like, if we carry on walking down here, you might see some evidence, like... Look, well, there's a washing line there for a start, bro. I know, a washing line. They'd have been hanging clothes up. So what we'll do is... I'll we'll just quickly show you, see if there's any evidence of them. Oh, down here, living down here. Washing line, bird box. They look like old caravan parts. Bro, you can only get down in a little narrow car. I think we got down in like a shitty Ford Carol, something like that. <laughs> Ford Carol. <Yeah. laughs> that only just fitted as well. That's yeah. random. Them rocks in a circle. Let's check that. Yeah, it's like a little camp thing. Look. What? Just standing? It'll be a bear trap, bro. Look. Where they used to chain dogs up and that around the tree. Yep. That's, That's where they used to. Yep, yeah, definitely tying dogs up there. They used to be full of gypsies, bro. Little campfire pit from there. Definitely. You can see that there used to be life here once upon a time. Oh! You can see all shit's been left behind. From people that have been living on here. So you're getting a good picture of Ski Village here, there is literally nothing left. Just overgrown bushes. Overgrown bushes, old tyres, rubbish. Saving your all the right journey here. For the future, aren't we? If you think about it. See why this is why we do the boring stuff as well, so you don't get here from wherever you're coming from and be like, oh, days. We've come like, travelled God knows how long to see this. Exactly. <laughs> So it just keep that in though. mind. It used to be good. Like, if we started, like, say, maybe three, four years ago, we'd have got a glimpse of what the... Um, there used to be, like, a children's play centre up there. So we'd have got a glimpse of that as well. But it looks like that is no longer even... You can see all, all concrete here. Now, I'm thinking, bruv, walk through these, see if it's situated in here anywhere. Come on, it's oh, here, isn't it? Obviously, this part here, would have been your snowboarding ramp and then your part to the left would have been skiing, skiing. and then tobogging <laughs> and then tobogging to the left and then to the left of that would have been your kids one so you got a good picture of ski village today so like like kyle mentioned on vlog earlier we're doing all people a favor that that are out there that thought about coming here you're getting a good picture unless you genuinely want to explore it yourself and have a feel it feel for it in real life then that's a different story and I don't blame you for getting out there, but apart from that, you're getting a good picture of what these ramps are all about now. But we'll keep it moving anyway. So now we've just come through this gap in edge here. To show you quickly over here. We come from right at the top here and we've done quite a bit of exploring for you to be fair. We're trying to cover it all, we've come all the way up here. All the way off from that way down here, all the way around fruit bushes here. Now we're back out onto the slope. And we're only halfway down slope as it is. Because we've ended up coming back up through that part we've just shown you and coming out here and now we're halfway on slope again. We've got a toboggan to show you though. Yeah, but we've got a toboggan to show you. 
I'm gonna go and show you that now. Get that out of the way, show you basically. What's that film called now? Uh, oh, cool Runnings. Cool Runnings. So if you've, if you've ever seen the film Cool Runnings, yeah, basically, man. this is what it were. Yeah, with Shankar featuring man like Shankar. Shankar, you're dead. Yeah, so from top of Ilson we are up there for it all went all went overgrown. Did it come flying down here, round here, and all the way to the bottom. So do you want to take lead and we'll just show them it quickly? Go on, Go on you take lead bro, I'll do it. That route we're off anyway, I'll just quickly show you this toboggan. Watch this. Yeah, from what I know of it, like my my nan and we're seeing seen a, a guy when I was younger, he was called Pete and he was manager of this and my dad helped build this. So as you heard, his dad helped build this. So he's actually walking on a piece of history where his dad's helped him with. Yeah, She's pretty decent. To see how it goes round, people have been people have been flying upside of this ramp here, coming down here like this, speeding down in the toboggans or the mats or the mat carts or whatever they want to do it in. And obviously, it looks like it's ending overgrown here, and that part there. So it's like something to do with old part at ski village that got burnt down. Ah, I can't all this. Probably like um, like a, some sort of paying station or something. Maybe a paying station, maybe an health and safety station, maybe. You just don't know, do you? I mean, I came here and I can't remember this place. You are? This may be the end of the toboggan run because I can't see anything around there. It may have stopped mm. it down here somewhere. Yeah, so this possibly could have been end of your tobacco run. It's totally overgrown. Totally overgrown. I mean, be careful coming here, people. Ankle breakers everywhere. Big hole. Look around. I don't know if it goes all the way through. No, I have seen on a vlog before. Ah. Oh. Oh god, big holes and that and climbing all shit. He's gone! <laughs> Took it for Took it for it. He's gone. He went, bless him. <laughs> so basically, you've seen most of Sheffield Ski Village now, what's left of it. If you're coming from a place, a different city, you may as well watch this and just leave it at that and don't waste your journey but I think I'm going to dead vlog out here all it's really been this one is is just a bit of information on area like we've not really we didn't really plan a very serious vlog we just thought we'd get out here and show you what's left of Ski Village for us for now if you like us and you want want to see more of us content like, subscribe, drop your comments, do your things, share do all that type of stuff and we'll see you on the next vlog goodbye <laughs>